Okay, so we're back with the 87 Toyota. Um, last time we left off, I think I had just exploded the stock uh, ignition coil and uh, igniter module. <clears throat> so today what we have is we have the GM coil conversion. Now, uh, when I got here this morning, the engine was locked up uh, because someone didn't secure the tarp well enough. Um, yeah, so none of that footage can be aired because there was much swearing and bad words said. Anyway, so I got the engine free and uh, I mocked up the new GM module um, just to verify that it would work. And it does. So what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through that. Then we're going to put the spark plugs back in and we're going to see if this thing actually runs. Um, how about fires? Uh, all right, let's go. So here's what I've got so far. So I got standard AutoZone Duralast C819 ignition coil. Should come off of a Chevy, something to that effect. Anyway, got that. And then next, what we got is a another Duralast special which is a GM ignition module and I believe this is off of an 85 C10 or K10 or whatever some sort of uh, Chevy and it's a DR100 all right so now what we do here is we've got a coil and I just put that coil to this spark plug and I grounded the spark plug just for testing sake so we've got a wire here and this is from the positive side of our battery and that goes to the b terminal on our chevy ignition module then that wire will go to f from the b terminal on the uh, gm ignition module to the positive side of our new round coil then on terminal c there I don't know if you can see that that goes to the negative side of our coil and then there's two wires coming out of our distributor uh, that would have gone to our stock uh, ignition coil but instead now they go to the white or not the white the w and the g terminals on the ignition module and then i also went ahead and grounded the ignition module i don't know if it's supposed to be or not but i figure it is so i just went ahead and did that so now excuse me um what we did what i did was i just turned it over and i saw spark so let me set up the camera and i will uh turn it over and you can see the spark and then we're going to try to get this thing to run we'll be right back okay so i don't know how well this is going to show up because yeah because but here i'm going to go ahead and spin the engine over and uh yeah uh, we'll verify we'll see that we got spark all right you ready and go all right so i don't know if you saw that but i saw it we have spark so i'm gonna go ahead and wire this thing back together throw it all in the engine and uh i'll bring you back when we get that ready all right all right so i'm sitting here editing this video and uh it's turning to come out craptacular. So let's just talk about it a little bit. If I can get my phone to cooperate. So this ignition module here is, um, let's go ahead and get in so I can draw on it. This ignition module here needs a heat sink. And uh, I'm gonna give you the part number in just a second, but it needs a heat sink. It needs to bolt into it with the thermal paste and the thermal paste comes with it when you buy this. Um, be sure you do that. You, you'll blow it out if you don't. Um, there's a couple tests you can do, and uh, I will put links or something in the description on a way to get to those tests to see if you've blown yours out. Anyway, let's get to the wiring just so we can verify what's going on here. So um, this C module or C pin it goes to the negative side of the coil. Um, so one wire goes from this spade terminal here and it goes over to the coil. 
and then to the negative side of the coil. And then this B terminal here goes to the battery and it also goes to the positive side of the coil. And this is where you would feed your 12 volts to start the vehicle. Uh, that would be coming from your key switch. And then these two pins here, there's gonna be two wires coming out of your distributor. On the 22R specifically, um, or mine anyway, I think it's actually red and yellow. Um, and then after the connector, it turns into like green and black or something like that. I, I don't know, it doesn't matter. There's only two wires coming out of the distributor and they go to those two pins. Now the other thing that's really important, and uh, it won't work unless you do it, is this. Um, one of these terminals here is going to be um, a little bit thicker than the others. On this particular model, it appears to be threaded, uh, to be bolted to something. But uh, on most of the on the DR100 module that I bought, they were both passed through, and uh, one had a thicker collar around the outside and that was made to bolt to a heat sink and provide the ground for this module to work. Now that heat sink model, uh, heat sink number is right here. And uh, yeah, it's GM Genuine Parts 10474610. And um, uh, yeah, you can get that at Amazon. I will put the link in the description. As you can see, it's pretty cheap. Um, so yeah. Um, I hope that helps you all out a little bit.